Hey everybody, hi, welcome, and thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and the entire Happy Crew. We are all here because we have had a day and we need a fun break and we wanted to spend it with all of you because I have a Wantable unboxing. Yes! Love a Wantable unboxing. This is gonna make my day. So, Zena, exhausted, because now she knows about the kitty I have in my basement, so which I, <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys yet, because I think I'm talking about that in my What I Wore video. So we have a stray kitty in the basement, so if you want to hear that story, watch my What I Wore video I'm posting on Sunday. So she is like, what the heck is happening? Wyatt is afraid of it, so he's a little off kilter here that now he knows there's another living thing. <laughs> it's been fun. Oh, plus, it's just been a hectic week. Crazy, crazy. So this is exactly what I needed for medicine tonight. If you're new to my channel, so glad you're here. I'm Laura. I think I already told you the names of my sidekicks. And if you love unboxings, reviews, shopping hauls, please hit that subscribe button. Would love you to hang out for the long haul. And let's get to my Wantable. Okay, so if you are new to Wantable, it is a subscription service. Um, and they have two different edits, a style edit, as well as an active edit. The active edit is more loungewear or workout wear, whichever you prefer, or you can mix it up. For the style edit, this is like the normal subscription, everyday um, clothing style box that you're used to getting, similar to Stitch Fix and many of the other style boxes. Um, but I love that they have two different options that you can select. Uh, they also have a men's edit if you have any interest in that one as well. So if you want to get um, some cool clothes for the men in your life, they also have a men's edit. Okay, $20 styling fee. You get seven items. You only have to pick five to get a 20% discount. Um, you do get a stylist. You, they have a stream on their website where you can um, request or decline items so your stylist gets to know your style, as well as you might get a chance of getting some of the items that you have requested. And... They have been offering some pretty fun themed boxes lately, which is what this one is. I think it's called the Mix, Match, and Refresh box. So let's see what they have put together. So as soon as you open the box on the flap, it tells you all about what to do when you get your box. And then right inside, I love their stickers. Personalized stickers. How fun is that? Style for me. Style for me. Love it. I have a pretty uh, high stack here. Can't wait to check this out. Right on top um, is all your information. So this is the Mix Match Refresh Edit. So it's logoed there. And you get an envelope to return anything you don't love and don't want to keep. And let's get my items out. My stylist is Emma. Hi, Emma, if you're watching. She does an awesome, awesome job. Love her. Um, and I can't wait to check these items out. I'm just going to dump them. Get them out the fastest. All right, I see color. I see some fun color. I see denim. I think I see tie-dye. Oh. What do you think? Looks like some spring transition pieces, doesn't it? I'm excited. All right, let's see what Emma says. I don't want to give anything away. But she said, hi, Laura. So happy you decided to treat yourself to the Mix Match Refresh Edit. It's a perfect way to perk up your look and your state of mind. I had so much fun selecting versatile wear not pieces that allow you to create many different looks, mix and match items to create all new looks, or refreshing existing pieces in your stay home repertoire. I include, okay, so then she's going to talk about um, the items, which I don't want to give away, so I'm not going to do that. So she said, have fun. Playing around with everything and be sure to let me know what you love. Okay, let's do it. I can never just rip the the paper when it has my name on that sticker for some reason. So now we're just going to pull it off. First up is, looks like a sleeveless blouse. And this one is from West Kai or Key, K-E-I. So it's green and looks like green and tan, a white going through it. It does have the tie here at the neck, which I would not be able to tie it quite that tight around the neck. Um, but I believe you could probably tie it a little bit looser. It is a little longer, so that's nice. 
it's a little drapey. The fabric is um, not quite silky, uh, but I think I think it will hang nicely. I do see some wrinkling, so we'll see. Has the ruffling around the neckline. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I wonder if this. I think this item I might have requested. Did I? No, I did not. No, this is a bummer jacket. And this is by Saltwater Lux. So this is fun. What do you think of these colors? This is a floral bomber jacket. Floral bomber jacket? <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. I have talked too much, I think. So it's got this pop of tan and off-white, the pops of pinks and reds here, and green. With the black trim, it's very silky. It has pockets. I like this, and it's it got some weight to it, so it's not like just um, like a thin layer. I feel like this would offer some warmth. I wouldn't wear it now when it's only twenty eight degrees, but great transition piece. I like it. All right, then I have a pair of looks like flying monkey denim. I'm just trying to see what kind they are. It just says the black label, medium blue. So it doesn't tell me what style. So let's see. They're um, cuffed at the bottom. They have some distressing here on both knees, I see. And the cuffing is uh, not stitched or anything. So you could always unroll, wear them in different ways. So that's cute. Uh, let's see if they have any stretch. They do. They have some stretch. I'm liking the blue color. It's kind of a, I don't know, I'd call it medium to light. Cute, a little bit of distressing, but not too much. Oh, and then I got these cute joggers. These are by Thread and Supply. These have little snaps here at the bottom. Pockets in the front, little pockets in the back. Are those real? They are not. Fake pockets in the back. I like those. Now check out this item. <laughs> I used to not like yellow at all. So I can't wait to see what this actually looks like because this is yellow. Are you ready? All right, so it has um, the black and white striping at the wrist, buttons down the front. It's not bad, it's kind of bright and cheery. So it's not like goldenrod, it's like daisy yellow, right? It's kind of cute, we'll just see what that looks like on me. Okay, then I have something from Week Weekend, Weekend it looks like. This is a, Long sleeve, it's just a long sleeve pullover, it looks like. Has little slits here on the sides. It's just in basic black, very, very, very soft. Thin enough that you could tuck it in if you wanted to. And my last item is this um, very colorful tie-dye hoodie by Wantable. I think it's just a fun, cheery pullover. It's very soft. I like the turquoise in the hood. And that's everything. That's all seven pieces. So I think that's a nice little collection. And this is a limited time style edit. So if you want to try the mix, match, refresh, edit, you probably do need to request it now. I always forget to say that. I think that this is a limited time edit. But I do love it. They seem to run for a few weeks, around a month, I think four to five usually, time frame, um, based on I think the styles they have available. All right, so let's get to this try on and see how they look. Okay guys, I have the first outfit on, which is the blouse, which does have the tie, but you can notice I tied it to get it out of my way so it wasn't hanging. I actually tied it lower to right here at the end of the V, which it does have little three little buttons hanging down here in the front. Um, I did a little bit of a front tuck to dress it up just a tiny bit. I'll show you what it looks like out as well, but I just tied that so it hangs right here in the middle out of my way, not hanging on the sides, not choking me. I think it looks better that way. 
but you guys tell me what you think. Have it on with the jeans that she sent me um, by Flying Monkey. These have a hole only at the one knee, distressing at the other, but not a, a pure hole. They're actually a really great length with my booties, um, the way they're cuffed right now, but you can unroll them. And um, they're very comfortable. They're a little bit of a higher rise hitting right at my belly button. They have some nice stretch, but they're thicker, so they don't feel like a thin weight. And I like how they are hanging a little bit straighter here below the knee, if you guys are noticing that. So they're a little bit wider at the ankle, which I like. So these are fun. I don't know. I'm usually Fly Monkey's not as expensive as some of the other brands, but I think these are really comfortable and I like them. So, um, and this top you can see is longer in the back, I think, than the front. Let me show you close up before I untuck it and share with you. And I hope my lighting is okay. Let me try a little bit. Here's a little better. There we go. So this, this um, pattern isn't bad. I think it's great going into spring. You could lighten it up even more, put on a um, cream moto jacket. How cute would that be on top until the weather gets warm? You could wear it with shorts once it does. A skirt, perfect. But until then, I like this outfit with a cardigan sweater um, or a moto jacket. Here's what it looks like out. So you can see the length and see how it's a little bit longer in the back, but not too dramatically. And I'm, I'm really liking actually both of these pieces. Um, the double cuffed mom jeans, this is called a mom jean in moon by Flying Monkey is $78. And this sleeveless floral woven top with the necktie, and they're calling this blue. I'm surprised, I would have thought more green, but okay. Um, this is 48 and let's do another outfit, but I think we're off to a good start. All right. So next up is this pullover. So many colors in this pullover, purple, orange, gray, blue. What am I missing? Pink. So many colors. Um, this is very soft too. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see the fun colors. I think the tie dye is fun. Let me get closer so you can see the fabric. See, it's so soft. I see a string. We'll get rid of Oh, there we go. But it's very, very soft and plushy. It does have the k pockets in the front. The neckline is a little bit higher, so it's not like wide and slouchy. It's a little bit higher. Um, I decided that's going to bother me. It does have a almost a dolman sleeve, but not quite, but, but probably close. So it's more of a looser fit. Can't decide how I feel about this one. I do love the colors in it. I'm just not sure I'd reach for it. I think this, this it's not touched in front of my neck, but it feels a little, <laughs> it, it, I notice it. Let me put it that way, I notice it. You could also do a front tuck with this because it's nice and um, soft fabric and dress it up just a tiny bit. I just put on with sneakers this time for a casual look. And I also wanted to see how this looked with um, my high top, so definitely still above. And if we wanted to look to see what this looked like down, let me show you. So it looks like um, they're actually like the perfect length for me. So if I take off my shoe, yeah, without the cuff, they're the perfect length. All right, let's do another outfit. Okay, so next up is this amazingly bright, very cheery, makes me so smile for some reason cardigan. And my stylist suggested putting it on over top of a graphic tee. This was the first one I thought of, so you obviously know what I'm thinking right now. For so I have this on my mind. Um, but I grabbed this one because it was black and white. I was matching up the black and white here. I do have some others, so I might choose one that maybe had more writing right here so that you can truly read um, what it says, but so you could guys could get a sense of it. I just, um, I did throw it on over at least a tee with something on it. And I kind of like that look. So I think that, and I actually might have missed the mark because now that I'm looking at this closer, this is actually navy and white. So um, I'll have to pick a different shirt whenever I actually wear one with it because I thought this is black and white, but now I'm noticing it's actually navy and white, which actually would, might make it more fun. 
So you could even just go dress it up a little bit, go with a fancy cami underneath as well, button it up. And I think it would look cute that way also. I'll show you what it looks like. Salt up the sleeves a little bit if you wanted to. They're a little long on me. I think I could probably do that and it wouldn't be even noticeable the way these sleeves are. It, I think it hits at such a nice place um, at the waist pretty much. Um, it, it would look really nice with just a cami underneath it and you could keep it buttoned. But I also liked it open with a graphic tee idea. And I just threw my little booties on because I think you could make this into a nice dressy outfit depending on how you wear it. I'm kind of surprised, but I like it. I think there's different ways to wear it. It'll be nice for now and later. Has some little holes through it, extra detail in the stitching. I think it's fun. And this one is by Skies Are Blue, the crop cardigan with the striped cuff in lime, they're calling this, $68. Definitely stand out, right? You won't get separated in the crowd, or at least you will see if you get separated in the crowd, you'll, you'll, they'll be able to see me. Not that we have any crowds right now. <laughs> no crowds. All right, I think I'm gonna leave this t-shirt on and try it with this jacket, so let's do that next. Okay, so next outfit. I decided I did not like the t-shirt under here and I wanted a tank top instead, so I, I swapped it out and I like it much better. <laughs> Feels much better. Um, all right, so these joggers we're gonna start with because um, I really like the idea of how she put this outfit together. I think the joggers with this bomber jacket is adorable. Whether you went with a cami um, cream underneath or black underneath, or even another shade of green because this has multiple shades of green in it. I think it would really pop and look nice and be a, a really easy put together look that you could probably wear to work depending on um, how dressed up you have to get or for lunch out, date night, whatever you wanted to do. But you could easily swap out your shoes, put on tennis shoes and also have it be a casual day as well running errands. So I really love the idea of these um, joggers. However, I'm not sure they fit me quite right. They're a little um, unforgiving. There's no stretch in these at all, none at all. So they're, they feel a little unforgiving through the bum hip area. So I'm not sure that um, they're the most flattering on me. They also um, have no stretch in the leg area. So while I don't think that I necessarily have large calves, I don't have skinny calves either, and I can feel them around my calf if that makes sense. So when there's absolutely no stretch and you can feel them, I'm afraid that when I sit and move around, they're going to um, get stuck in place. I'm constantly gonna be pulling them down. I like the outfit though, so I feel like I might be able to replace these with a different pair of green joggers because I'm pretty sure I do have um, another pair that I think would work. But I like these, they're very, they are soft, um, they're comfortable, but not forgiving. The jacket, also incredibly comfortable. Um, I don't mind the pattern at all. I don't know if I would necessarily call it springy, but I do love that it kind of has this champagne-y look to it. And I think with based on what you pop underneath it, you can brighten it up quite nicely. So I think I could go with, you know, maybe more of a, this pinky color, maybe it's more of a peony color, um, or even like uh, the off-white would change how this would look. I, I happen to have black close by, so went with that. Um, you could also even do a different colored bottom and brighten it up if you wanted to, but I really like it. It feels really nice on the inside. It's almost like a sweatshirty material on the inside. It feels nice and soft. And um, here's what it looks like zipped up. I have some nice room, but it lays nicely as well. Yeah, I like it. All right, so let's talk pricing of these two pieces. The Serena Jogger and Ivy Green, $60 by Thread and Supply. The Floral Bomber in Frappe, Frappe, Frappe? Um, 
Saltwater locks $98. All right. And I think all I have left is a little black pullover. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so my last item is this fun little pullover, little slits on the side. Simple, basic, but super comfy. Um, I did in the break, while I was putting this on, sit down and move around in these joggers. Good news is they do not ride up. I have a little bit of room there at the bottom. Maybe that's enough. They don't ride up, they don't move. And they didn't bother me sitting down at all. So they actually were absolutely fine. And that's what I was afraid of, that when I sat and moved, they were gonna be like super uncomfortable and feel restrictive, but they didn't at all. So now I'm rethinking them. I was really worried about that. What do you think, Z? Huh? I think Zena's weighing in. Not sure if it was a thumbs up or thumbs down. Anyway, um, this is, like I said, this black top, nice basic. Here's the material. And you could dress this up as well. It's thin enough that if you wanted to like tuck it all the way in or do a front tuck, you could do that. It would look cute with the joggers, would look fun with the jeans. Dress it up with your shoe choice. You could throw a jacket on over this, it's thin enough. It's just not bad. I would say if I needed a fifth item, I would probably consider keeping it. Let's see how much it is. $54 by week and. It's like the and sign after the word week. Let's see, it feels like weekend, huh? And that's everything. This all seven pieces, $464. Um, you get 20% off if you kept everything, but you only have to keep five. You still get 20% off, um, $92.80. And then the styling credit, um, your styling fee, which is $20. If I kept all seven pieces, $351. I actually don't think that's too bad, considering um, two pair of pants, a jacket, a blouse, a sweater, and two pullovers. What do you guys think? Right now, um, my least favorite items, I think, like if I were to really quickly pull two items out, it would probably be the tie-dye pullover. Um, not, lo not loving, I love the colors, but I'm just not loving it. And I don't think I would probably wear it. Um, and probably this little black pullover, because I'm not sure I need it. Because if these joggers are gonna work for me, and I might wear them for a little bit now just to see, but if they would work, I would wear these because they're nice and comfortable and something that I could wear out or at home. So since they're not pulling anywhere, or they don't feel too restrictive, I'll have to see. What do you think? Do you think I should go for five or do you think I should pick my favorite and not lose my styling feet? If I had to pick my favorite, I might struggle a bit because I surprisingly really enjoyed this bright pop of yellow. So maybe I just really need color in my life right now, but really liked it. I did enjoy the little bomber jacket. I thought this was fun, comfy, cozy on. And um, I really, I thought the jeans were great. I really liked them as well. I like the style, a little bit different with a nice um, straighter leg. And then the cuff worked out perfectly. Although I could probably cuff some of the jeans I have now. And I actually thought this boss was kind of pretty for transitioning. So I have to think about it. I want to see, I always have to watch the replay too and see how I look in these items um, afterwards. And sometimes I do try them on again, but I'd love to get your feedback. So please, please do weigh in what were your favorites in this collection. I will list all of them down below in case you want to check any of them out. Um, for yourself and would like your stylist to send them in your next Wantable. I'll also put my link to Wantable down below in case you want to give this service a try. I so enjoy spending time with you today. This was such a fun try on. This was the mix, mat, mix match refresh edit, right? Yeah, mix match refresh edit in case you want to request this limited time edit. All right, guys, thanks so much for spending time with me today. Please hit that like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.